now back to this bitch that had a lot to say about me in the press the other day. Molly, what's good? Let's go on get into it. The VMAs, MTV Awards, whatever the hell we want to call it, 2015. Oh my God. It was everything and a lie. A lie. A lie. Y'all already know what time it is. Not time for a black V-Negros, but just time for us to be, you know, to talk about the stuff that went on with this this year's MTV Awards. Um, we have Nicki Minaj opening up, performing. Um, I can't the Goom, I can't think of the name of the song she performed. It's not one of my um Trinidad, you know, oh Trinidad, but the punta something. It was cute. She had a little Trinidad thing going on, or whatever. It was all right. Um. One of the dancers were um, a former YCDT um, dancer that was dancing right behind Nicki Minaj. It was everything to see him. Um, I think his name is Keenan. I think I'm pronouncing it right. It's just It just goes to show you that you never know where you will be a couple years from now. And just like if you just surround yourself around some positive and supportive people and strong individuals, there's no telling where you where you will go, where you will go in life. So that was that was cute to see that. Um that was everything to see that. Um, Nicki Minaj performance was lackluster. Um, and I, to be honest, there's no really no word that I can use to describe her performance because Nicki Minaj just paraded around. She pushed around. And to be, I don't know if it was just me, but Nicki Minaj in that outfit reminded me of like a big booty slave or something like she's good to be selling, you know, she's going to make a lot of Negro kids and da da. It was kind of it like, and I'm not saying Nicki Minaj can't do what she's doing. She can't, you know, embrace her big booty and stuff. But it's not even a real big booty. It's fake. So, I don't know. It, it, that's, that's a whole other thing. But it's just, she the performance was not, it didn't do anything for me. The song was cute. But it just goes to show you that we live in a day and age where you don't really have to have much talent. As long as you have the look, um, the, the, um there's some type of attitude and be able to just basically almost sell your soul you will be able to get some airtime you will be able to get some type of time like Nicki Minaj was walking around with the mic and she like she was out of breath I don't know if it was just me that called it she was out of breath and she knew the words to the song but she didn't rap all of it she I mean it was just like okay so we got my we got not Miley Cyrus what's that girl named Taylor Swift because all of them look alike Taylor Swift comes out, and you know, Nicki Minaj and Taylor Swift had a little Twitter beef and all that type of stuff. And I started to do a lot of thinking because I believe now that there is no such thing as a, you know, there's no such thing as coincidence. All this stuff is generally staged. Um, for Nicki Minaj and Taylor Swift to get into about a week or so ago, and for her, I, I just, for them to get over it that quick. I just don't see it. I, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence with that, but at the same time, I really don't care. Taylor Swift came out there to look like a um, a sexy red hot, okay, and I just didn't want it, and I don't even eat red hot, so I was not interested at all. Um, she pushed around, and I didn't hear any vocals. It, it 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 just didn't do nothing for me at all. We got Miley Cyrus, the um, <laughs> hosting. I, I I really feel like that. Miley Cyrus like has just shown us that how low we are willing to go, or how low these networks are willing to go to get ratings. It, it's there's no talent. And Miley Cyrus does not. She's not funny. She she's not even cute. I'm so tired of her looking like a a bag of fucking chicken parts, and 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 skinny ass chicken parts at that. Like like she. I just got tired of seeing her. I didn't. I got tired of seeing her crotch. I got tired of seeing her leg. I just got so tired of you know, watching Miley Cyrus host this award show made me realize that it's gonna take about two books for every hour of this show I have watched to regain my brain cells, and that's a lot of work. Okay, that's a lot of work. But Miley Cyrus, you just. That hope that that um what was that the Instagram thing you did with them two guys that shit was so whack and so stupid it just you know what <sighs> you white people some of y'all ass be very funny 
but you you just some of y'all just don't entertain me. Um, these common ass jokes, you know, just I don't know. It's just like yeah, fuck yeah, fuck. We're gonna turn it out. Just like it was just wacky. It was so stupid, and I was very irritated, very irritated, and seeing Rebel Wilson get up there looking like cow with no fucking chicken because I didn't got pissed off now. So the cursing starting to come out. She come out there with this damn with this police uniform, introducing the hip hop award nominees. Like I, I, I just I, I, did, I for the life of God, I just did not understand why did she thought that was appropriate to do that. And I'm all about sometimes turning it on and, and you know making something funny and all that type of stuff. She got out there and then tore it off. Time asking, she's a stripper police and that. like yeah, injustice and like girl this. Wrong time, wrong place, and wrong skit. It was just very out there. And people were, like, it was just terrible. It was terrible. And everybody, rude. yeah, that's funny as fuck. Now, somebody made a good point. You would never, DeRay made a good point and said, you know, you would, nobody's going to, well, they do sometimes. I, they, But they always get their ass handed to them, you know, right after. You know, making jokes about, um, you know, death, like get up there and make fun of something that had to do with Sandy Hook or the Holocaust or anything. It's just like, how did you out Rebel Wilson? I don't know if they put you up to it. I don't know if they offered your fat fucking ass uh, a ham sandwich right after you got your big hogatha looking ass off the damn TV. I don't know what they offered you. Okay. But I hope it was worth it. I hope that you can eat pretty good for the next couple of whatever, the next eons, because it was just very inappropriate. You got up there and you and you did, and then you had the shirt that looked like a Black Lives shirt, Black Lives Matter shirt. It was just very disgusting. And to introduce for hip hop, what? But you know what? At the same time, I don't want to get irritated and pissed off and go on tangents and stuff and tweet about it too much, because at the end of the day, they know that this shit is inappropriate. They know it's inappropriate, but we're not going to do nothing but tweet about it, da 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 and we're going to go in, and it's going to curate some retweets, and people going to want to watch the VMAs to see the people that didn't watch it, and just to see what happens. It's just, I don't know. I We need to learn a way to really fight these corporations, um, you know, effectively, because some of this stuff going on the tangents and Twitter and stuff, sometimes it's not enough. It's not enough, especially when we keep showing up to these award shows and stuff and, um, you know, not showing up to uh, the BET Awards. I'm going to get into that later. I'm going to keep bringing it up because I just think that's ridiculous that some of the artists continue to, you know, get shown. But y'all still take y'all ass to the VMAs. Y'all still take y'all ass to all these award shows. But you can't even, and the BET be giving y'all awards. All you got to do is be black and sing a little bit and they're going to they gonna recognize you because that's all we got. It's just a shame that some of y'all don't even try to attend, don't even offer you. Some of y'all make a lot of money, and I was going to wait till later. Y'all make a, Kanye, you make a shitload of money. There is nothing for you to host like a 10-minute, you know, like you doing a, a 5, 10-minute, you know, performance at BT. So I want to know what is going on. I want to know why these artists do not want to perform at these award shows, okay? We're going to call it trash and all that type of stuff, but still go. Say so at least it's where they went, you know. But y'all don't, y'all y'all don't, and it's sad. It's really sad. It's really sad. I, ugh, I'm trying to hold on. I'm trying to hold on. Um, yeah. So that was very disgusting. So Nicki Minaj is getting the hip hop award. She pooches on. She's talking, you know. And baby, next thing she knows, she said, "My, pa I'm gonna thank my pastor." And baby, she typed that. She turned her head to the over to the left, and she said. Um, back to this bitch who had so much to say about me at the press the other day. Molly, Molly, what's good? Babe, 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 babe. That shit was hilarious. Ha, hilarious. Because it was just so unexpected. And I knew something was warming up. I knew that she was getting the powers to be to go in. Like, she just wanted to make sure that I guess it wasn't going to be cut off. Or whatever, but I don't know if it was scripted. I really don't give a damn if it was or it was not. But it was fun as hell because it caught. If they did know about it, Miley Cyrus didn't know about it because she was caught off guard. Have you ever heard somebody that's kind of scared and they try to play it off like they, ooh, girl, speeding? 
<laughs> you ever heard somebody like be? She was Miley Cyrus was scared. She was scared, like she was uncomfortable because her voice. She was like, ah, um, ah, ah. but you weren't gonna do too much, Miley, because you know Nikki would have came in and karate chopped your ass. And then focus on that. She would have did look Kim like that. She would have. Girl, ain't nobody talking about look Kim fucking plastic fucking trash can face ass. Nobody is talking about little Kim. Nobody is interested in her right now. Nobody. Like, girl, like, stop bringing the dead to life, girl. Let them die, honey. Stop using damn um, unauthorized jutsus and stuff to bring the dead back to life because it's not needed, honey. Girl, stop. I don't, just stop. I, just leave her alone. Just stop bringing her into that. So Nicki Minaj got Miley all, all the way together and it scared the shit out of Miley Sarah. Miley Sarah didn't know what to do, but keep on talking. She said, look, Nancy, and y'all know what they got into it for because Miley had something to say about, you know, her and Taylor Swift getting into it and da 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 and black women being acknowledged and da 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 da. Some stuff, child. And Miley was like, well, you know how the media, uh, what's the names? And, and, and well, sometimes the media does do it. But Miley, um, girl, if you going I don't know, but you you want to be so unscripted and so um, you know, so out there and stuff. But when a bitch get in your face, you don't know what to do. Like you like this is not a part of the script. So you, I don't, I I just really don't like your ass at all. I I really don't. I I can really deal without your ass to be honest. And quite frankly, I don't want to talk about your ass for the next two, tw ten minutes. I, I'm just over there. Um. What else going on? If you, Nicki Minaj should have ripped them damn fuck ass locks out your damn head. You know what? You, I'm, I'm finna go in on your fucking crunk chicken wing neck ass. Brung your ass out there with them damn locks and shit. And just, I'm just so sick of these hoes using our culture and shit. And they go for black folk and they go for gay folk. And then they sit up here and say, bitch, I'm gonna make money off y'all shit. I'm gonna make money off y'all shit. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this because everybody know what the hell I'm doing. Like Miley, you just I, you got up there and you looked the fucking fool. You you know what? I, I hope it was worth it. Whatever they gave your dumb ass, because you gonna be an old wicked ass hag at about thirty forty years old. Because Miley, you can't you ain't gonna be able to do that. Like this shit is cute for now, but it's not gonna have no longevity. Like girl, nobody's gonna be checking for you, Miley. So you're not doing no music that nobody cares about, bitch. You could have kept on Hannah Hannah Montana. You could have kept doing that. And, and, and I would have been cute with that, but just like, girl, you, I just don't like you. I, I, I really don't. And I, I want to say some ugly shit, but I just cannot because I'm, I'm on a, I'm on a spiritual level. And my pastor didn't give me the permission to go off on you too bad. Um, Justin Bieber came out and performed. And Justin Bieber, child, was looking like the reincarnated, um, elegant degenerate. Honey, he got up there. He was just something. And, and he performed, and I swear to God, I thought it was Chris Brown. I thought there was Chris Brown's song all along. It that sounded like some of Chris Brown's music. That's to me, that sounded like Chris Brown's. I thought it was. And to figure it out, it's Justin Bieber. And Justin Bieber, I'm not here for you or your music. And and I, now that you done came and performed, I definitely won't be buying this shit on iTunes. Um, and then you just jack this. Like, I just feel like you just jack this award show shouldn't have been just jack people style show because you got out there and I thought you was Chris Brown for a second. And but you had a breakdown for I guess you took everything, including his breakdown. So you had a breakdown right there, and I was just like, girl, let's move on to bigger and better things, honey, because I just don't have time. Um, Justin Smollett came out there and performed, was um, not performed, came out there, pushed out there with some girl from Empire, I can't remember her name. Um, they talked about Black Lives Matter for a quick second because that's all the good white folks gonna let them get. Um, but it was cute. Um, you know, da da da. And child, I don't know. That shit was some bullshit. It was good to see Todrick Hall in the control room. Um, I guess you know, being in a relationship with a white man gives you some props and stuff to be on MTV. Um, that's no shade, but you know, I'm just calling the high. See, that's cute for you, Todrick Hall. That's cute for you. But Todrick Hall is a very talented guy. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to be quiet for now with Todd Recall because he has a show coming on and I want to see where he's going to do with it and what type of person Todd Recall is. I need to know a little bit more about him before I have comments on him. Um, 
Kanye West gets the Video Vanguard Award. Um, and Taylor Swift, you know, presents the award to him. And before we can even get Taylor Swift to come out, we got this long ass fucking introduction video. Talking about Kanye West, read, you know, read by Samuel, directed or whatever by Samuel Jackson. Um, and I love Samuel Jackson's voice, but that shit was, it, it was too long. Kanye West, the biggest cloud word for you during the war show was long and drawn out. Like, it was just long. It was just long as hell. And I was just like, oh my God. So Kanye West pooches on up, baby. The, the, um, and Kim Kardashian looked like that sex. She like a sexy ass version of that caterpillar from Bugs Life. Someone put that picture up on Twitter and I hollered so loud. Because that's exactly what the hell she looked like. Ooh. And, and I don't know. I, I don't know. Kim Kardashian, I just don't know what to say about her. God, I don't know what to say about Kim K. And, and you know what, Kanye, you know, I'm going to let you finish, but let me tell you something about your damn self. You got up here and you gave this long, drug ass speech about, you know, listen to the kids, all this type of shit, and you talked about, you know, black things or whatever, but you talked about it on a predominantly white network that does not give a fuck about you, don't care about you, and for people who only probably featuring you because you got a cute, light-skinned baby. I'm just going to call it like it is, and I, I'm not holding back today. I'm just not... Today is I don't give a fuck Monday, and I just really don't give a damn. I'm tired of some of y'all ass that feel like that, you know, babies have to be curly hair and light skin. Y'all need to stop that silly ass shit. And there's nothing wrong with a, a you know, light skin baby or a mixed child, but some of y'all send to send me just praise it. Just praise it. Kanye West, I can't really take you serious when you talk about black things and all this type of stuff, because you went and married this Persian wife. Or whatever the hell she is, I don't know. I don't give a damn. Then you don't. I've never. I've not seen you at the BET Awards, and God knows when. I want an excuse. I want some type of information of why you don't go to these award shows. Why you don't go? I want to know because I cannot listen to people talk about issues and stuff when still kissing the white man's ass. I cannot. I cannot. I just cannot. I can't sit here. You can't sit here and tell me. Black Lives Matter, black this, black this, I'm pro-black. And then, I don't know, I just don't know how to feel about that with you being with a white woman or, you know, falling to this white... Girl, you got on there and talked about brands and shit, but you selling fucking shoes for three, four hundred dollars. Like, this shit makes no goddamn sense. And, you know, you one of those people that just talk and talk and talk, and you got a bunch of dumbass folks who really don't analyze what you say, so they gonna follow this shit. And that's the same shit with damn um, Bring It. And I didn't want to talk about that shit, but I was reading an article on Diana's website today, and he kind of went in a little hard on Diana. Everybody just like, da 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 And a lot of y'all asses don't know shit about this damn woman, to be frank, you know, be frankly honest. Y'all don't know how full of shit she is. I know that. I experienced it. Some shit I care not to talk about because it's a little bit, you know, and, and, and talked about to me in confidence, so I can't talk about it. But just trust and believe, I don't, ain't nobody bashing her ass just because she full of shit. She full of shit and she ain't right. She just ain't right. And I cannot stress that to y'all dumb asses enough when y'all falling up on pine, lock, behind her like a sick ass damn puppy. I she doing this. She making way for that kid. That, she ain't doing shit, but making money off them damn children. That's all the fuck she doing. She ain't investing shit in that damn dollhouse and them shit in them damn kids. All the thing she doing is making money off dumbass parents that's got an extra hundred dollars and make some damn money. Yes, I wrong this shit to the damn VM Award because the review because I'm pissed off. Today is I don't give a fuck Monday. Because I'm sick of some of y'all ass that don't think, you know, I don't even give a damn you analyze my shit. Analyze everything I say, question everything. Don't fall into the hype. But just know when you come at me, make sure you come correct. Some of y'all ass be doing a lot talking. And I, I ain't for that bitch. This is my channel. This is my page. My Instagram. So I can block your ass and not give a damn about it. You can email me all you fucking want to. But bitch, I swear to God, I'm not going to care. I'm not going to care. Because you're not going to talk to me crazy on my shit. It's just not going to happen. Now, we can we can agree to disagree. And we can have conversation all that. And you can put your point out. And you can do your video and say whatever you want to. But you won't disrespect me on my platform. It's just not going to happen. So, um, yeah, Kanye, I went all off on tangent, but I just can't take you serious. 
you talking about listen to the kids. You need to listen to the black folks and, and, and don't forget where you came from, okay? Because you, Jay-Z, Beyonce, all y'all ass are, are questionable to me. Y'all probably doing a lot behind the scenes, but that's just like a parent telling a child, well, I feed and cook for you and I do all that. No, I still need you to tell me that I, that you love me and that you appreciate me and I'm, it, I need you to, I need to hear that. Children need to hear that. Parent, children need to tell their parents that, like, I appreciate everything you've done for me, but I want you to know that I love you. Sometimes showing just is not enough. Be vocal with it too. You have to balance that shit out. You just cannot do one without the other. And I just believe in it. So, and I don't, I don't, I'm not feeling the love from none of their ass because to be honest, all y'all look like products of the damn, you know, the system. Y'all just, y'all gonna say and do what y'all got to do to keep on getting paid. And you know what? I don't blame you. So don't sit here and try to come here and tell me that you care when I know damn well you, I know you don't care. So I'm done talking about that dumb ass shit. Taylor, she, he apologized to Taylor Swift for the white folk, um, which was really, really cute. Girl, I know some folks gonna feel some type of way about this review, but I don't give a damn, honey. I'm gonna keep on doing what I got to do any damn way. So Taylor Swift, you won some of the damn awards tonight, and I really don't believe that you you deserve some of the awards you got. I feel like, you know, you 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 don't really have any talent. But you know what? That's Kanye West's fault for getting up there dragging your dumb ass because he brought more attention to your ass. Oh my gosh, the struggling white girl. She look at how the black, the angry black man do it. And we gonna let this nigga come over here and talk, and he can't even go on his child. I don't have time. I don't have time. Um, what else is going on? Um, and Kanye, Kanye just sat there for like five to ten minutes. I mean, I don't know how long he stood there and let them folk clap, like he was fucking Michael Jackson. I, 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 I was sick of it. And his, he told me I'm running for president. With a picture of your damn wife sucking a big black cock in her mouth, I seriously doubt it. Um. I just, I, I, I don't, I, so, you know, it is what it is. Pharrell performed, uh, I don't know what he performed, but he got up there and did some hippity hop ass shit. Let me tell you something. I have not seen one artist tonight, and maybe because I, I didn't pay attention, I didn't see one artist that really just brung it to me and just did it. This award show was trash. Y'all had a, y'all hyped a whole bunch of people up with colors and bright lights, and, and, and they didn't have no talent. They had no talent, and that's the day and age we live in, unfortunately, like, it, 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 I feel like y'all just whoever has the biggest following get their ass on stage, and it's just like that's video video music awards. Bitch, y'all just need to say just breaking the bar awards or some shit. It's just I, it's just social media awards or some shit. Y'all might well call it something else because a lot of these folk got up there. I I, I was just confused. A C Rap Rocky got up there rapping. What I don't know what the hell he was talking about. That shit was so damn stupid. Fetty Wap you know winning the um the viewers whatever the hell it was. He didn't even show up. I don't know why he didn't. That would have been interesting if he did. Maybe he said, fuck it. I don't want to be around him. They don't care about me, honey. Black Lives Matter. Maybe that's the reason why he didn't get up. Maybe because that's the reason why he didn't come. But I would like to know why Fetty Wap did not. Because I felt like he should have, considering he's, he's popping now. And he wants a little more notoriety. Or he probably don't. Ice Cube comes up there and his um son's son get up there. and um, I don't know his son's name. But Ice Cube's son is fine as hell, and he is a um, shining image to us thick boys that we are in. I don't, it's getting ready to be one of the times you better get you a thick boy. He got up there, and he just looked sexy. And there's nothing wrong with being, I would consider, a healthy way. You know, just loving yourself at the same time. Love yourself enough to appreciate your body so you can live a healthy life. Uh, um, that, that can go, you know, eating right. And if you're not eating right, exercise. You know, be proactive so we, you know, we won't fall um, dead to some of these diseases that can be preventable, uh, that are preventable. Um, so he, he was, oh, he was sexy. He looked good as hell. Mm, mm, mm. I won't, I won't be one. But y'all, they don't know how to text back, so I don't have time for this shit. Fuck me, man. They don't know how to text back. They don't know how to respond to shit. I, I, at this point, I don't give a damn. Motherfucker, I ain't talked to a week. Text me, tell me some good morning. Twice. You know who you is. Kiss my ass right now. Um, I still love you, though. I'll text you Wednesday. Um, Taylor Swift ends up winning the video of the year award. For what reason, I do not know. Because if I hear um, bad love one more time, I swear to hell, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat my face. Three shades lighter than Star Milan, and I'm I'm not even um I'm not even bullshit. I'm so sick of hearing that shit. I feel like I'm gonna transform into a white woman if I hear that damn song one more time. Let me up, 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 up. 
I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Um, Miley ended up doing a, a performance because they kept talking about it. Kept talking about it. Kanye West brought it up even, you know, how often, how they kept talking about some Taylor Swift's going to be preventing him to, presenting him the award. Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift. Because, you know, they, 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 they big on that. They don't give a damn about all that shit. It's just ratings. That's all it is. Clicks, 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 coins, coins, money, money, guap. So Miley Cyrus came out to perform. And I actually did not like the first couple of minutes of it. I was not here for the first, but then I started liking it, um, to see, you know, the drag queens get up there and do their thing and all that type of stuff from RuPaul's Drag Race was cute because, and this is where I have to get on BET, though I, I, I appreciate what y'all do. You all would never do shit like that. You know why? Because there is a homophobic problem in the black community. And I'm not talking about white folk right now. I ain't got on the ass enough in this video. I'm finna get on you black folk. We have a homophobic problem in the community. And that's why we can never do certain things like that and talk about gay issues and stuff. Because we have a problem with that. And this is a deep rooted issue that's, uh, to me, I feel like associated with slavery and all that type of stuff. And the black man being strong image. When he was practically beaten down and, and uh, all type of shit by the master. So... I guess black men don't have anything else but to be strong because they really don't have shit else left. So they can't be, what's the name? So be always the lowest of low. So girl, and be and accepting you know, gay people on home is not going to make you any low. So girl, just just get the shit together. And we do have a problem with it. We do have a serious problem with it. And, and I, I'm not just speaking it from what I hear. I'm speaking it from what I know and what I've experienced in my life. Um, my Cyrus performance was really, really... It was cute as far as that, but other than, you know, she's not talented. It was whack. It could have been something else. I'm just I'm just sick of this day and age where we have to put holes up and they can just put their trash ass box all in the camera for TV time. MTV MTV, y'all did a shitty ass job with this award show. And it y'all just it it was like fucking tr Twitter on crack. Okay, not tr Twitter on steroids, because Twitter can be very entertaining. But it was Twitter on crack, like it was just late. It was an entire epidemic, and I did not join. And I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad my ass was in Miami, Florida, and joined seeing YCDT perform and get in my life. That video will be uploaded later on today. I'm just glad that I got a chance to experience that because I would have been pissed off as hell if I would have, you know, stayed and and missed it. I would. I, I enjoyed myself. And the reason why a lot of people didn't get a lot of pictures with all these folks and all these type of stuff because I'm just when I'm in a place and I'm getting my life. I'm getting my life. There's no need for me to document it so everybody else can see I'm getting my life. It's for me to keep it up here. I'm getting my life. I'm having a good time. I don't need to know. I don't need to let people know I'm having a good time. As long as I know it, that's all that matters. And then I'll talk about it and explain it. But that's all I got. Um, follow me on Twitter, JustinJ1232. Follow me on Instagram, JustinJ1232. Um, tell me what y'all thought about this award show and what y'all thought about it. Same old, same shit, different day. Um, tell me what y'all thought about my review because I'm pretty sure I got some of y'all pressed, but some of y'all probably love it. Thank you so much, Jay's. I appreciate y'all for supporting me, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuce.